arming. This isn't a true emergency. Launching. It's a life-saving simulation. Right here with this TV, we'll have all of our personnel. We'll have the hazmat team. But if the real thing ever happens, it just may be a drone coming to the rescue. Drone technology has come a long way in the last five years. Early on, drones were looked at as from a negative perspective. But what's, what's happening now is they're starting to see how positive drones can be in emergency service response. Southern Manatee Fire and Rescue has taken emergency aviation to new heights. They've partnered with the world's largest drone manufacturer, DJI, to test and fly these modern marvels. Currently we have four aircraft that we use. And these aren't children's toys. They carry some of the most sophisticated emergency response equipment in the state of Florida, which was put to the test during a recent sulfur fire at the Port of Manatee. A thermal camera revealed hot spots, and an air monitoring device kept track of the smoke plume, aiding first responders on the ground. We don't want to send anyone into a combustible atmosphere. Traditionally, you'd have to send someone in there to find out that it is flammable. So that saves us from you know, potentially hurting someone. But for Southern Manatee, these machines are much more than firefighting tools. They're eyes in the sky that could one day save your life. We can see uh, heat signatures, whether it's a missing child or a lost person. So it's, it's really elevated that UAS platform to another level. But one of the most important things these drones save is time. Now with the drones, within 10 minutes, we can have them in the air getting that real-time information, quickly being able to make decisions. And in a crisis situation, that could mean the difference between life and death.